Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and I do want to show you guys an awesome application that I found on the Play Store, uh, and it is called iSyncer. So I will actually place all of the information below the video. It's going to have the link to the website where you can get it onto the computer, uh, you know, PC or Mac. Also, uh, the name of it in terms of the application that you want to search when you want to download it to your phone. So here's the thing. First off, you want to download iSyncer to your Samsung device or any Android device, let's put it that way. But let's just say Samsung since I am a Samsung advocate. You do have the option of USB or Wi-Fi in terms of options of transferring all the music. And what it does is it transfers the playlist that is on your iTunes on your computer, and then it puts it into a physical file onto your phone, but also into the playlist. So let me show you guys how this works. I do want to let you guys know that I am using the free trial of iSyncer. It is free for 14 days. Uh, and per each playlist, it goes up to 100 songs as of right now, um, which is August 19th. But you can actually buy this for $4.99. So let's say I want to do the Wi-Fi option. What it's going to do is it's going to ask you to have your Wi-Fi on. So what it's going to do is the phone and the computer have to be in the exact same Wi-Fi network. Once it actually loads, connects, and then it notices that there is a computer and a cell phone on the exact same Wi-Fi network, then what's going to happen is it's going to find your computer where it says Owner's Library on Owner PC. That's actually the name of my laptop. So I'm going to choose that option, and then this is where it's going to show all my different libraries, or I should say all my different playlists that is on iTunes on my computer. As you notice up on the computer up here on the laptop, it actually um, popped up automatically. So here's my options. I can move over my library, music, movies, TV shows, uh, my top rated, recently played, top 25 played. And then down here is actually a little bit more of the different playlists that I have. And so here is a one on the very bottom that is referred to as Workout. And this one I was about to upload a minute ago, but I wanted to record you guys or record this video to show you guys how it works. So I'm actually going to sync it to my internal memory, or you can even sync it to SD card. So let's go to sync to internal and then sync now. So what's going to happen now is through Wi-Fi, it's going to push all of those files from this playlist onto my Samsung Galaxy S5. And usually it goes about one, two, or three at the exact same time. As you guys can tell, it is pushing three different files at the exact same time. And then the thing that's really cool is earlier today, I transferred over a couple different playlists I, I bumped up my, my playlist or my track numbers from about 440 all the way up to 549. So here's all the different songs that I've recently just added. Um, but not only did I add songs to my phone, but here is the playlists down here that came from my iTunes. So I transferred over MP3, Spill Canvas, and Top 25 Most Played. Soon, after a couple minutes, when some of these songs have actually transferred over, you're going to actually notice that it is going to say that playlist that is moving from your phone or from the computer to your phone. And so right now it is actually on track number 10 out of the 25 songs for this playlist. So I hope this helped you guys out. This is where you'd be able to get your playlist off of your computer to your phone. Again, all the information will be below the video uh, where you would be, need to go. If you have any questions, get a hold of me. Have a good day.